Jason, seriously, I love this movie with all my heart, man. Seriously, uh, I, I cannot even you. begin to tell. This is I, I was just weeping in the final act, and I just never thought this movie would exist. So seriously, thank you for just crushing it. Uh, thank you very much. Um, you know, I am genuinely beyond fascinated with the process of, of not just getting the original guys back, but getting them to actually reprise the characters. I know you've been talking about this a lot, but can you tell me about those phone calls and how nervous you were? And, and like, hypothetically, what if one of them said no? Like, what, how would this movie exist? <laughs> you know, I was only going to make this movie if we could get everybody back. And it was a thrill the day that they showed up on set again uh, to see the three guys standing next to each other for my father, for my me, for me, for also all these young actors. I mean, it's like seeing the Beatles back together. It was insane. I, you know, and all of us remember, you were mentioning your dad, all of us remember our dads coming home from work and talking about their days and talking about their jobs. What do you remember about your father? coming home from work from the time he was making the original Ghostbusters, like, are there any casual comments that you sort of remember him talking about in that time when he was making the film? Uh, I remember being on set with him uh, making the original film. I remember seeing special effects tests. I remember seeing marshmallow rain from the sky. You know, I remember, you know, seeing the guys in their flight suits and being on the top of Dana's apartment building. Uh, it was the most thrilling childhood I could even explain. And then getting to watch the film at seven and bring home a proton pack. Um, it's the luckiest child that a kid could have. I, I'm weirdly <clears throat> jealous. I, I just, I, I'm going to call my dad and be like, why didn't you make Ghostbusters? How come I didn't get to hang? <laughs> um, you know, I, I really do love how much you respected the legacy of Ghostbusters and made a movie that's a tribute mm -hmm. to the original and a tribute to the great Harold Ramis. I'm sort of curious though, as a teenager at that time when we don't want anything to do with our parents, yeah. when all of your friends and people you would meet would ask about your dad, was there ever a period in your life where you just did not want to talk about Ghostbusters? Ha! <laughs> I mean, I, I certainly, you know, became an independent filmmaker and, you know, you know, crowned Tarantino as the god of cinema, which I probably still would. But Ghostbusters has always occupied a part of my heart. It's always occupied a part of almost everybody's hearts. There doesn't go a day in my life I don't see someone wearing a Ghostbusters t-shirt. And my father and I wanted to make a movie for everybody. Whether you've seen Ghostbusters a hundred times or whether this is the first Ghostbusters movie you've ever seen, we wanted to make a movie for you. You know, now that you've played sort of in the sandbox of one of your father's films, if you wanted to swap that, if your dad wanted to direct a sequel ah. to one of your films, which one would you like to see him make a sequel to? Oh, my God. I would love to see the Ivan Reitman sequel to Young Adult. <laughs> yes. How do we make that happen? Oh, my God. It would be like, it'd be so sweet. Like, you know, Mavis Gary would actually have a happy ending. I love, well, like Sony's behind the scenes right now going, yep, that sounds good. That sounds yeah. fantastic. Um, you know, I, I, uh, have what there's an experience where I, I sort of talk about how uh movies don't change but we don't change up in the air is one of my all-time favorite films and i used Thank to you. watch that film and want to be like ryan i used to think man look at it he's flying around everywhere and he's got no connections he kind of just does his thing i used to think right. it was the coolest thing in the world i watch that movie now and i kind of weep for the guy like it's a, it's almost more of a tragedy for me because i'm like oh my god he flies around he has no connections i'm sort of right. curious um, how films change for you, uh, not necessarily because the film itself changes, but because you change. Oh, it's, it's very well put. And look, Christopher Buckley, the writer of Thank You for Smoking, once told me, when a movie works best, it's a mirror. You know, we simply see ourselves in it. And it reflects all the things that we hope for. It reflects all the things we want to be. And you're right, as we age, that film mirrors different parts of us. And Ghostbusters has been a film that's been around for almost 40 years now. And it mirrors all these different parts of us. You know, it mirrors the things that make us laugh. It mirrors the things that scare us. And it mirrors the things that make us believe. You're absolutely right. And can I just say, I just want to talk to you very quickly as they're giving me the wrap. Thank you for bringing back practical effects, man. Whenever I saw some of the practical effects, <laughs> I just, like, I literally went, oh my God, yes. Can you talk about why that was important for you? Oh, absolutely. I mean, we wanted to make a Ghostbusters film that was made in the heart and in the style of the original film from the 1980s. That meant building sets, that meant practical effects, that meant puppets and animatronics, that meant grounded filmmaking. I mean, uh, what's the only thing cooler than watching it on screen is actually being on set and watching the terror dog come to life. I, I, I would have paid me. I know I would have paid. Dude, I've got a thousand more questions for you, but you're coming on my podcast with myself and Kevin and Sean tomorrow. Okay, so cool. Awesome. We're, we're so excited to talk, but seriously, thank you for making this film. It's a movie I never thought I'd ever get to see. And, and seriously, just ugly tears in the theater. So seriously, ah, thank you so nice, much. Nice, nice, nice.
going, we don't need roads.